Hi, welcome back to Glory Lifestyle. I am Gina and um, the purpose of my vlogs are to share truth, share light, and just to kind of have fun and just talk about um, godly things. And yeah, so today I kind of felt led to talk about marriage and how to keep your marriage full and um, fun and a place to where you have honest communication. And so um, today I was kind of like in the kitchen um, making something to eat and I just felt like I should just talk about what it's like to kind of hit a plateau within your marriage because everybody gets there, everybody hits it. And so for us, we kind of talk things out and we share about how each each one of us feels within that plateau and sometimes it's a matter of giving one another space within that marriage and within that union and so um it's just really good and healthy for the marriage for each party to be able to have their alone time and for each partner to be able to just have their time of self-care, no matter like what that actually is. And so for us, that's kind of two things that we kind of get into. It, first being we communicate, we let one another know what's going on. Like if we have something that we want the partner to um, kind of do better in, you talk it out and so, um, First, I think it's important to pray before you get into the meat with your spouse. Because if it's something that's super important to you, something that's kind of heavy, you want to kind of go to the Lord and just be like, Lord, this is what's going on. This is an issue, which God already know that, that that's going on. And so with that being said, you kind of want to like talk to God, ask him, is this an issue? Is this something that I really need to bring up? Or can this be something that I just pray over? And um, something that I could just pray over and, you know, pretty much keep it moving. And just see God change whatever that issue was on their own. Um, so for me personally, recently I kind of was just like wanting both of us to get to the same place mentally and spiritually and things like that. And so the way that I kind of handled that situation was, was that like, I think before I even got a chance to pray about it, I kind of talked to my husband and was like, Hey, I want, you know, this is something that I really want us to work on and want us to do together. And so he kind of was just like, okay, and he received what I said and then I don't, I can't remember what he, no, he was like, okay, let's, you know, let's try it out. Let's work on it. So then I really wasn't seeing anything happen. And I guess for me, <laughs> I want stuff to happen fast and I want like things to get going fast. Just, and I don't, I, that might be selfishness. Um, that just might be selfishness and it, yeah, and that's not good, but that's something that I need to pray about for sure. But, um, anyway, we kind of talked about some things that we really weren't, um, on the same page with. And I didn't, when I kind of felt like we weren't communicating and there was like just a really dry patch within our relationship, because for me personally, like, and for both of us, we really want our marriage to be a safe place. We want it to be a place where we can talk to each other about whatever. And we want to be giving each other 100% um, every day. And so there can be times to where each person is given less than that 100%. 
and the other person knows why maybe work is really stressful maybe work is really crazy or you know you're just busy and things are just different in that that time or even that week and so for me like what I do when things start to get dry and like just where we feel a little bit there's like some space in between us what I do is is that I pray and I'm like, God, can, there's this, you know, dryness going on, Lord. We are, have kind of gotten away from each other and we want to come closer and come back together. And so I think sometimes it's important to assess the situation and give God those pointers that you want to pray over. So like, I wanted... I, want, I would like for Sam to get a little bit more involved in church and because he's really busy with work and his schedule does not permit him to have a lot of free time outside of work. And, and if he does, he's tired and exhausted. So it's, it's, it's kind of hard for us in this season. So I just started praying and I said, Lord God, I pray that you would give my husband um, the desire to get more involved in church and church ministry and men's ministry and that he could find really good godly men who are great friends and things like that. And so um, for that, like it was, I would say about like five to six days later, God answered that prayer. And Sam was just like, hey, I really want to get into our church more and I want to spend more time. Um, being around godly men and making new friends and I was just like that's amazing that's a huge praise and so um yeah so that's one thing another thing about just praying through stuff instead of just nagging our husband which I do it <laughs> like I nag him sometimes and um like I'm asking Lord for just deliverance and just to stop doing that because it doesn't it doesn't help the situation. And so, um, also too, whenever just in general, like when you feel that space from your, your, your partner and just that rough patch within marriage, not necessarily anybody's doing anything to get you to that rough patch. But, um, what I do is, is like, I try to find verses that are really, um, good to pray over him and pray over our marriage and so recently I'm I got I picked up this book it's the power of a praying wife by stormy um and so yeah this book is so good it really goes into each part of a person's life so each part of your spouse's life and it gives you prayer points and it like gives you a background story and then it'll go and find verses so it's like a background story prayer and then verses and then so it's so good and i just love it and i just would recommend like every wife to have this book if they just really want a huge successful marriage this for sure <laughs> right here the bible is number one of course but um, just another tool to really solidify your marriage and to bless it is this book and I, I like in my previous video I talked a lot about praying and how much I believe praying impacts every part of your life and um, and so yeah so like for me I kind of went through oh yeah by the way um, I got this book as a gift from Leah and we used to work together and so she was just like somebody got this book for me when I got married so I just really want to pass it along to you and so I just am still so grateful for this book um, and so yeah but if I feel like there's an area that I specifically really want prayer on or to pray over my husband on, like I'll go to the front, which is the contents. The contents has kind of like outlined each area, like I was saying, of someone's, sorry, the lighting. Um, every, okay, it did it again. But anyway, like an example, 
Um, the first thing on here is number one, his wife, to pray over his wife. I think that that's really cool because that's praying for yourself and it's opening up a place to where you be like, I know that I'm not perfect. I know that I be doing stuff that can frustrate him, that can wear him out. But specifically, like, I just love that his wife is first to pray over yourself first and then like let's go into praying over him and so then next is like his work his finances his sexuality his affection his temptations and so there's also one on here that talks about his marriage and um and i really really love that part too um and so i just don't think that a marriage can really thrive without um praying over it, communicating, and just having God as the, um, that just solid place, that foundation, the rock. And, um, and so, yeah, I just really felt led to share kind of what I do whenever I get into places of feeling like there might be space within our marriage and like when I really want us to focus back on like our like the truth within our marriage and sometimes the enemy wants to get into my head and be like your marriage he doesn't love you that is one thing that the enemy tells me all the time is that my husband doesn't love me and I've always known that that was a lie because like I've said in the first video when, um, I think, or no, it wasn't the first video. It's maybe the second or third video about talking about our marriage, um, is like, I know that Sam loves me the way he works and how he makes sure, sure we are fed and, um, and even just the way he looks at me, like, and this morning he hugged me and he was like, you're so beautiful. Like, stuff like that. Like, I, from that I know that he loves me. But the enemy tries to get up in there and be like, he doesn't love you. Just because there's a day of him being really busy and him just being really exhausted, the enemy will use that little time to be like, he doesn't love you. And so... What I have to do is for myself is I have to pick up the word of God and remember God loves me. And even if today Sam is tired and he just can't give me the time that I, I'm looking for because my love language is spending time. That is number one. That's the way I receive love. And so if today like he can't do that, then I have to go to the Lord. Like the Lord is the first before anything, before Sam, like the Lord is where I need to be going to find that love, to find that security, to find that hope and everything else that I might need for an extremely emotional day. And so sometimes like I get into those really exhausting emotional days and I have to remember like, hey, you need to put on a worship song. You need to um, find a resource that's going to give you like verses to remind you of God's truth and who you are in Christ. And so I just think that that's important. Um, because in, when we, when you're married, you get, sometimes you just think that they're supposed to give me, give me, give me. They're not supposed to give me, give me, give me. Marriage is about what can you give them? And so I just think that it's important to walk in that truth and to know who you are in the Lord. And um, yeah, so that was just one thing that the Lord just kind of was given to me last week was that when things get hard or you feel in some type of way, the enemy is just working at your mind, you must submit your life to God. You must submit this issue to the Lord and not um, just let it linger. Like, I just think that... Um, you know, before you go to your best friend and be like, he ain't doing this. <laughs> He's supposed to be doing this, but he ain't doing this. No, take that to the Lord. This is how you will see God change that person. You cannot change that. You can't change your spouse. And that's just important. Like that is a principle of marriage. You cannot change that person. 
And um, only God can change that person. And when you see those changes, realize the Lord did this. Like God did this, not not you. And um, and so I just also like I told Sam recently that I have a class right now that I just absolutely love. And um, my professor, like we talk about um, just lifespan and just your life and when you get certain ages what happens and all this stuff we talk about marriage and stuff like that and so we had gotten on the topic of marriage in our in my class and um i had waved my hand and i had my ring on and my professor was like oh are you trying to wave your ring to show like your marriage is something that stresses you out and we were talking about stress and i was just like no, that's not what I was doing. I was just stretching my hand. And she was like, because I know marriage can just be really hard or like something like that. And like marriage isn't fun. She just had a really uh, pessimistic idea and uh, vantage point. And so I just was like, no, I love my marriage. Like I love being married. And she was just like, that's you. Not a lot of people feel that way. It's kind of what she said, but she didn't say those exact words, but that's kind of pretty, pretty much what she emphasized. And so I just was like, I need to pray for her. Like, I don't know if, I don't know where she is in her relationship, but I was just like, I need to pray for her because I mean, I would love for her to love marriage. I want everybody to even, I want everybody to love marriage and I don't want it to be something that people are suffering in. Um, I think that whenever you are suffering a situation, you should tell people, allow people to pray for you. You don't have to give out all of your business, but just say, hey, I really need prayer in this area and that's okay. And so not that she said I need prayer, but I just was like, I want to pray for her. I want to pray for her to love her marriage. And I told Sam, I was just like, she should just pray too. She should pray that like God changes herself which is like one of the first points that this book made that I just showed you. And then pray that God will change um, the partner if there's really some issues that needs to be changed. And then from that point, know that, hey, like I'm not, I can't change that person, only God can. And then after that, realize again that you didn't change that person when you see the fruit of your prayer. And so I thought that that was, he was like, that's really good. And I was like, yeah, I want to share that with people too. Like to that, whenever you're praying for your spouse and you're asking God for, to change something or to improve something or um, just for the spouse to grow in a certain area, like, you know, you're not changing. You can't ever change anybody. You can't ever change the way people think or the way they do things. Like you can only just pray for them. And so um, I just hope that this video, of course, encourages you that you just love it and that you share it with your friends. Um, and I just hope for sure that like everybody that views this video and people that I don't know, like, I just hope and pray that your marriage is full of fruit and full of love and that, um, whenever you have issues, I pray that the Holy Spirit would just bless you guys with communication and with principles. Um, that you really just want to follow within your marriage and that um, God would just give you peace in your marriage as well. And so that's my prayer for you guys. And I pray all of those things in Jesus name. And um, I just also hope that you guys will subscribe and share this video and like and all those fun things. So y'all have a blessed week and a blessed day. And I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching this video. Leave any questions below <laughs> and let me know if you have any questions and um, thank you for your time. Please like and subscribe and watch <laughs> our next video. Okay, you gonna hide? Okay. Bye y'all. Yeah. <laughs> there he is. Oh.